going on everyone? My name is Josh Aspect, and today we are playing a fantastic game called Oni-chan! And, honestly, I haven't made a video in a while because I built my new PC, and I'll show you that too. And I'll actually put the specs in um, my description. Actually, I'll put it on the, the About section of my channel so you can see what I did. But, yeah, I never made a PC by myself, but I actually did it. I watched a lot of Jay's Two Cents and stuff. But anyway... I was recommended to play this game, so I'm like, oh, I can't resist. Oni-chan, wake up! The voice is irritating as the sound of the alarm brought me back to reality immediately. And so, I don't know why, I'm so excited for this game. <laughs> Come on, Oni-chan, get up! Oh, do it the hard way? What? She whispered in my... Ho oh, ho ho, yep, licking the earlobe and blowing on it, I pulled the blanket higher. <laughs> Alright, I can see where this game is going. Okay, okay, I'm up. I grumbled myself. Get up, oh my gosh, alright. I, I, I don't know what to say about this. Let's share a shower. What? Her eyes were shining feverishly, which made me worried. I didn't know what to expect from her. What on earth is this? Her name's Sora. Oh, okay. You go first and I'll be right behind you, I said. In my guts, I feel that getting rid of her wouldn't be simple. No way! Was that Akami? Akami has been waiting for you. How dare you say no? To your pretty sister, you handsome slave. You what? Okay. So who am I? Your brother or your slave? <laughs> oh, look at that achievement, okay. You're both my brother and my slave, that... Like that cat girl maid. She's both a cat and a maid. What- what is this game? Okay, thank you, dear sister. May I go to the bathroom now? Alone? Hell no! You ain't going to the bathroom by yourself. Time to get up or we'll be late. Incest! Akami grabbed my hand and wanted to pull me out of bed, but I was prepared to. But I was prepared, so I stayed where I belonged, in my cozy bed. Damn it, you asked for it, Oni chan. <laughs> Akami tried to take away my blanket, but I pulled it back to my side. We were both hot and breathing heavily. Oh, yep. This is going in the wrong direction. You leave me no choice. If Oni chan will not come to Akami, then Akami must come to Oni chan. No, please don't. I'm coming, but it was too late. Oh, okay. I couldn't do anything else but the catcher. Otherwise, she would have hit herself badly. It turned out that I shouldn't have done that after all. Right then. Uh-huh. Akumi landed right between my legs. She was so close that I could clearly feel her breast squeezed on my tiny shirt. Anime. Like any healthy 18-year-old guy, I felt excited. <laughs> Needless to say, I just woke up and certain parts of my body woke up. Okay. Oh, well, that was unexpected. I didn't mean to have a notification come up, but that's say okay. Actually, I'm going to change that. Give me one second. Okay, we should be good. Akumi, get off of me and go wash up. I said as angrily as I could. That's very angry. No, no, no. Akumi wants to make sexy time with Oni-chan. <laughs> I had to lay down again and stop her manipulation. She pounded. Alright, this is getting out of hand. This is really good, I think. Can I even record this? I don't want to risk, like, a strike or anything like that, honestly. Alright, as long as there's no nudity. nudity. If there is, I'll, I'll blur it out, okay? At least I could still cover myself with a blanket, which made this whole situation seem less severe. Okay, good. Close. Oni-chan no longer loves Akami? Her big green eyes got teary, and I knew I had to give in. Oh my gosh, no, don't do it. Not that I can't stand crying woman, but if Kazumi and Kaori 
Here I can be crying, then I'll have to deal with all three women. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. All right, Akimi, you win. I'm going with you, but I need to go to the toilet first. I. There better be some privacy there. I pat her head to make sure she doesn't cry. I made her so happy. She being like a 100 watt light bulb. You are the best, Sora. I can. We'll walk you there. I'll wait for you. Oh. Of course, it couldn't be that simple. Why can't you just leave me alone for a second? That's a good question. I sighed and pushed to the side slightly, just so that I could stand up. Good. Akumi was observing me with the interest, though. I was tottering toward my wardrobe, wrapped in a blanket. Like a mummy, I needed to get a long shirt to finally get dressed. Damn, it's so hard to be brother of an 18-year-old girl with a fully developed body. What? Hold on. So... Alright, yeah. So that's a sister. Okay. And she just jumped up top of him like something was about to happen. No. No bing bam booms going on with that. Alright, this is messed up. Messed up. My opinion. My opinion, alright. Everyone was awake! Kaori, okay. I don't even know if you pronounce this name right. Good morning, Sora. Uh, good morning, Akami, as usual. Aunt Kaori. Aunt? Was already wearing a police uniform. Is that. That's Kaori and that's the aunt? No. What? Kazumi, good morning, Sora. Okay, alright, good. Good. Kazumi was cooking something like that. So that's Kazumi. Did you sleep well? Good morning, I said to everyone. That's great to answer the question there. I slept while waking up was difficult. Okay. Akami. Forgot anything, Kazumi? Why would you wish Akami good morning? I just want to say they're all like young looking. Because you have been bullied, Sora, again? Are you jealous or what? Well, of course. Such a flat chested girl like you can never make <laughs> Oni chan interested. FYI, Oni-chan had a case of morning glory again. Akami. Kazumi and I lost. Okay, good. Hey, is the great is it great that Oni-chan feels so up uplifted right? Is this music too loud? Like I lowered it almost all the way. Akami pretended to be an innocent lamb. Hmm. Okay, but it may not be as pleasant for Sora as you think. Kauri decided to educate this innocent creature. Okay, creature. What? Why the little one start, uh, blah, 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 stared at Aunt Kaori? Oh my goodness. You see, men need to experience some kind of discharge, otherwise it's not that pleasant. Oh my gosh. Oh, so this is why Oni-chan runs to the bathroom every morning? Mm-hmm. Yep. But you also do that, don't you? you? Tried to change the subject. But you never hear me breathing hard. Oh god. Sometimes you even groan. She laughed. Okay. Yep. Akami, Kazumi and I tried to appeal to her conscience, but failed because she didn't have it. What? Akami is curious to know what Oni-chan does every morning when he goes to the bathroom? Oh my gosh, here we go. Same as what do I do what I do in the evenings. So I sit on the table. Believe me, Akami knows what those sounds mean. Hmm. Akami watch you at least once? What the hell? Akumi Kazumi and I groaned. Aunt Kaori burst out laughing. Okay. As usual, Kazumi, Akumi, and I went to the academy together, aka school. While we were walking, the elder sister was uh, pacing quietly, although too close to me. And Akumi was literally trying to ride me. Jesus. Here we go. What do you stop? You're heavy. Kazumi made another remark, which immediately pissed Akumi off. No, I'm not. Old. I'm not. Akumi just wants to walk close to her brother. Oh shit, what's going on here? Alright, sorry about that. I had a little bit of technical difficulty. I ran out of space on my camera, and that almost screwed up the entire video. Let's see. Alright. Alright, here we go. Kazumi, why do you talk about yourself in third person again? Grow up. Kazumi couldn't stop lecturing her younger sister. Good. You're jealous because you can't touch Oni-chan the way I do. What the hell? 
Do you think I want to? I'm not a child like you, and I see no point in making Sora feel uncomfortable. Look at his face. It doesn't seem as happy as you think. Oh my gosh. Is Oni-chan angry at Akame, or could I at least hear tears in her voice? No, not at all. I tried to reassure her because I was afraid that her fans from the Academy would kill me if I... if they saw that I made her cry. Hmm. Everyone's looking at us. Maybe you can go by yourself now. But when is this encounter going to be over? <laughs> Sora, you're breaking Akami's heart. What do you care about those losers? Now she... La, 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 now she was this close to start crying. My sisters could call anyone a loser because they were the best in everything they did. They always had the highest grades and succeeded in extra extracurricular activity. Well, that's lolly doo da, isn't it? Meanwhile, I always was below average grades. Well, that sucks. You do whatever you want, just don't start crying. I sighed. I can be like a light bulb because her hands were uh, were officially united. Although now Kazumi's feelings were hurt. Sek Sekiko. Sekiko. Good morning, perverts. <laughs> Sek Sekiko, a girl from my class. Well, she has that right. You're a pervert, you stupid old Taiku. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna have to look that up. Or else I'm gonna get in trouble. Akumi replied arrogantly. Good morning, I replied sluggishly to my classmate. Sekiku is a nice girl, but you can't really say that she's tactful. Kazumi ignored her nasty remark. Didn't even look at Sekiko. Oh my gosh, that name. You three look awesome as usual. Thank you. Sorakun, why don't you leave at least one of them alone? What? It's them who can't leave me alone, I grumbled. <laughs> you don't appreciate what you have. You're way too nice to your brother. Girls. Okay. Nice. More like way too sexual. It's none of your business, Akumi and Kazumi replied simultaneously. Okay, okay, I get it. My sisters were starting at Sekiko. Uh, starting. Staring at Sekiko so angrily she had to admit her. Kept silent for the rest of the way. Sora, huh? Sora is an actual name I can pronounce. When it was time to split, the girls made a terrible scene. Okay, good. Akimi loves Oni-chan so much! She will think about him all the time. The little one jumped up at me and started rubbing her cheek on my uniform. This time, Kazumi decided to take matters into her own hands. She grabbed her sister and dragged her away from me. Okay, good. You shameless little- You're supposed to have classes, Kazumi shouted. Mm -hmm. You're a hypocrite. I know you're jealous of me. And Oni-chan. You're just afraid he'll hate you if he learns about your feelings. Akumi flew off the handle. This game is such a meme. You two can discuss it this, home, uh, this at home. Okay. Everyone's looking at this at us. You should stop this right now, I warned them. Kazumi got embarrassed immediately while Akumi peered into her sister, but luckily stopped arguing. The crowd began to disperse. Good. I never had a crowd around me, even in high school. Nope, never. The show is over. Hmm. You gotta stand upright so you can see my beautiful face. I feel sorry for your sisters. Okay, you're an idiot. You just have them both. What are you wa What are you waiting for? At least to stop fighting if you get them busy. That's smartass. I ignored Sakiko's words. I was already tired. Although it was an early morning, the only thing I dreamed about was peace and quiet. Yep. Yeah, sorry. During the break, I was alone in my classroom. Some kind of festival took place in our academy. Almost everyone had gone to watch it. This gonna, gonna, gonna. I don't know what I'm saying. Akumi came into my classroom a couple times during the day. Gosh. If I had to be in that school, I'd like off myself. She was quiet and friendly, although she had got angry only when the guys were too intrusive. Got so excited every time they saw her. 
They call their cutie. Oh, how cute. Which pissed me off, to tell you the truth. Okay. No. Sorry. At home, my younger sister was always around. As if... Not enough. Every day she would... Oh my god, I can't concentrate. Every day she would... Stalk me at the academy. Stop! I don't want to hear this anymore. I'm quite happy about the fact that she didn't go too far. She would either sit next to me or on my desk. I knew Akumi quite well, and this kind of behavior was indeed decent, or even modest for her. Okay. Oh, back to the old song. Here we go. During swimming classes, I sat in the corner trying to make myself invisible and watch the girls. There you go. To tell you the truth, I love this class, because you can watch the girls. Fantastic. Especially the part when I can watch girls swimming in tips, see, in their tiny swimsuits. Wow, it's getting really specific here. Okay. Umeko, Umeko, top my list of beautiful girls. She gets only chance attention. She had a really nice curves, just like Akumi had, but Umeko was much shorter. And the most important thing was that she was shy and polite. Good. Sakiko, look at this smartass. Your sisters will kill you if they notice how you stare at Umeko chan. Shut up, I replied. That's right. Tell her what for. I don't understand. Akumi-chan is much more attractive than Miko-chan. <laughs> also, the first thing is desperately trying to get your attention. Why bother with Miko-chan, hmm? At least Miko-chan is not my sister. I wouldn't bother about it if I were you. Your sisters would lose their interest in you if you should show them that you like them. Yeah, that's how, that's how it works. You gotta set them off. Girls hate guys who only think about their sex. Some like other guys who ignore your sisters, and this is the reason why they're so desperate for your attention. Good. It's that simple. Is it really, though? You should take it easy. Touch Amika's chance. Um. What's, uh, another abbreviation for the. Another word for that? Touch Amika's chance, um. Ooh, boo bobs. <laughs> that's that's what we're gonna call this. Her boo bobs a couple of times, and she'll start ignoring you, just like she, ugh, she ignores all the other guys in the academy. Literally, I just choked him on his head. Slap Cosby Chan on the uh, on the booty, and she'll never look at you again. My classmate was saying this for the third time. This is so sexual. Why? I guess somewhere deep inside of me, I was afraid. My sister would never talk to me again if I did something like that. Otherwise, I would have already followed Tsukiko's advice. She's your sister! What are you talking about? Actually, the sky looks pretty nice. I didn't want my clo uh, closest people to turn their backs on me. Your family? Parents have always worried, or always worked abroad. And they visited us a couple of times a year. Give Aunt Kayori money. After that, they would go to, to the U.S. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that anymore. Just a little side note. I always wondered how they could still remember our names. I mean, I guess you go to the U.S. if you're like in a really tough spot because they're. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I'm just gonna stop talking about it. The girls were never really close with their parents. Okay. Meanwhile, I always wanted to win their love and attention, but failed miserably. They never liked my gifts. Or a handmade presents, and parents always stressed how how my GPA was. Oh, poor stupid fool. I'm <laughs> joking. My mom and dad always praised Kazumi. Kazumi, I don't know what that is, and Akumi for being diligent students, but the girls didn't give a damn about their opinion. In fact, they would get angry each time they heard something nice from their parents. Akiori asked her parents many times to be more thoughtful and caring, but this could never happen. Our parents were crazy about science only. I'm a history person, not a science person. Akiori was always bu uh, always busy as well. Sometimes she worked on weekends or pulled an all-nighter. Sometimes, or since my early childhood, Kazumi was always there for me. If I started crying, she said, I'll always be there for you, Sora. Please don't cry. Your sister will never leave you. Oh, this is getting too touchy now. How can we never miss her parents and hardly ever cried? She always smiled at me and I smiled back. 
She was a child, she didn't cry when she fought with Kazumi. But she grew up, she realized to make other people obey simply by starting to cry. What a douchebag. <laughs> Another achievement, woo! Torakun, can we talk? Oh, it's her! Amiko asked me shyly. I didn't hear her coming, so this question took me by surprise. Alright, this swimsuit's already way too tight, actually. Well, of course, I replied. Let's talk some more private. Oh, God. I nodded and followed her. There we go. She noticed that they were gone. We went around the corner. Mako turned to me, blushed, and finally said, I love you, Soraku. Oh, God. Hmm? I know it's so unexpected. Please give me a chance. There you go. But I don't understand, I muttered. Oh, really? I saw you looking at me. I'm sure you know what, that, what I mean. Uh, yes, I did look at Mako many times and other sexy girls. I even checked uh, those erotic magazines. This didn't mean anything. I'm going wrong again. Frankly, Amiki and Kazumi were the only two girls attracted me, but they were my sisters, so it was brotherly feeling and nothing more. I've read somewhere that when a boy becomes a man, it's no more for him to experience sexual attraction to his sister. Uh, what? In my case, to both of them? Is this true? Like, those of you that have sisters, right? And you're a male. Is this true? If this is, I... Hmm, getting a little weird here. Do you want a date? What do you say? Make it look to me bashfully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? I replied. Yay! You won't regret it! She was so happy she started clapping her hands. I hope she was clapping her hands. I decided that Mako was fine, so why not give it a try? After all, it's just not about Miki or Kazumi. It's time I started dating girls. Good. What in the flying cockos is going on? Did this game just crash on me? This game just crashed! Unbelievable! to start the whole game over again because the game wouldn't load? You gotta be kidding me. Well, I'll play- oh, Jesus. Oh my gosh. Well, that's very unfortunate that the game just decided to crash on me. Actually, really unfortunate. But you know what? It's okay. I'll play up to where I left off. But anyway, that's gonna be, I guess, the first episode. I will record more. Uh, I finally got some free time on my hands. Hands. Because I am on vacation from college. Yes. Actually, no, I have one summer class, but that's okay because I still have time to record stuff frequently. And then I'm going to go on vacation away in Florida in a little bit. But anyway, like I said at the beginning of the video, I did make my first PC. I will put the parts up, uh, my specs, my PC specs, on my about section of my YouTube channel. But, uh, you know, I'll also put it in the description for you too. It's a lot to type in, but I'll, I'll do it. And I bought all of them on Newegg, so... But yeah, if you want to see more of this Onichan game, let me know in the comment section below, or just like the video so I know that you'll enjoy it. But uh, anyway, yeah, thank you. Josh has picked out. Peace and stay Gucci.